Hey YouTube, Sharp and Shiny here. How you guys been? First of all, I want to thank y'all for tuning in with me today. And this is going to be my first monthly update of uh, silver stacking. So, I got about 14 ounces so far this month. Uh, starting from the top, I have four OPM, Ohio Precious Metal Bars, 9995. I have my five ounce Atmex Bar. And that's my uh, Sharp and Shiny Silver Nomix purchase from my saved up change over the past couple of months. Next to that is my uh, Australian Kookaburra. I'm going to flip that over in a second. Uh, next to that is, is a shame on me. Um, I don't have any regrets. I thought it was the 2013 year of the snake coin. It was the 2013 year of the snake bullion. And here I was thinking, oh snap, I just got a good deal. It was like $31 or something. But uh, I got a year of the snake coming anyway. But, you know, like I said, that's just, you know, a bullion round. It's not a coin. So, um, and then lastly is six half ounce coin. Uh, I'm sorry, six half ounce rounds from Monarch Precious Metals. So here's a closer look at the OPM one ounce bars. Again, like I said, that's uh, Ohio Precious Metals. All right. This is my first five ounce bar right here. It's an Atmex bar. Um, it's pretty weighty. Like, it feels good. I mean, this is my first five ounce anything silver. So it, it feels good in the hand. I've been dealing with like one ounces and half ounces for a while now. And um, the five ounce. I just like the weight to it and the size. Uh, I'll put it up against these guys really quick. So, but they're much thicker than these as well as larger. This is my first Perth Mint purchase. It's an Australian Kookaburra. I know you guys have seen these a thousand times, but it's the first of my collection. So I want you guys to check it out. And like I said, this guy's, this is one of those, ah. Eh, I leapt before I looked, but again, no regrets. It's still one ounce of silver. It's a bullion round and not a coin, but I was actually thinking I was getting the Perth Mint Deluna series year of the snake, but this is actually a year of the snake replica. It's a bullion, um, but again, like I said, I'm not a super collector, so I wasn't you know irritated by it because it's still a one ounce piece of silver and that's what I'm doing right now I'm stacking silver I'm not stacking collectibles right now I may get into that actually I do have some of those uh Perth Mint guys coming and things like that but again it's one ounce of silver I thought it was the actual coin but it's not and this is just the flip side of that same uh year to snake round the uh, year to snake replica and last is my uh, three tray ounces well there's six half ounce rounds the monarch butterfly half ounce rounds um they're pretty cool i want to like i said i want to mix it up um i've been commenting on videos with guys asking you know myself i'm new to silver stacking but these guys are new too and they were asking like you know are coins better? Are rounds better? Are bars better for stacking? So my advice was to mix your bag up. So I'm taking my own advice. Like I said, I got half ounce rounds. Now I have a five ounce bar and I got one ounce bars, one ounce coins and one ounce rounds. So I'm mixing it up a little bit. Also, I'm looking to get a piece of gold. <clears throat> I'm thinking either two tenth ounces or one quarter ounce. Um, I like to have more metal, but I know I'd be spending more money getting two tenth ounces instead of one quarter ounce. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that. Again, this is my silver collection. I'm going to give you some more shots to these guys and y'all have a nice day.